Hello and welcome to another two minute tip. We're going to be looking at user defined materials this time. My name is James Herzing and I'm a technical consultant here with Autodesk. So what are we going to really be looking at? Well, we're just creating materials that aren't pre-existing in our library. We can use a custom material to do this where we can just right click on the material and choose to edit it. Where we can then just type in all of the values that you can see here. We can also choose one of the materials in the library and edit that so that we only need to define some of the materials, or we can import materials from MatWeb. So let's jump into the software and see how we actually click through this. All right, so here in the software, we see that we have our part meshed already. So we're just going to go in and edit our material, and we can see that all of the values here are set to zero by default when we have custom defined as our option. If we click on edit, you see that all of the fields are now editable to make the material whatever you want. Alternately, and more easily, we could go ahead and choose one of the materials in one of these folders, such as steel, A36, you see all the values fill in. And when we click edit, you're now able to go in and change them. So if we change these numbers to something more suitable for our materials, we can do that and click OK. And then you can see that our material name updates to customer defined. Now this is going to have to be done every time for each individual material. And you don't save these materials when you do it this way, so every model is going to have to be redone. If we want to change that, we can click on Tools, and up at the top, Manage Material Library, and you're going to see our Material Library screen show up. Now we're not going to go through this in a tip, this tip. We're going to have another tip for that, so look up Manage Material Library if you want to do this. But here you're able to create your own library that is editable and you can save all of your materials so everyone in the company then has access to them and you never have to redefine them again. So that's everything there is to do and know about defining a customer material. If you have any tips that you'd like to see in the future or if you have any questions on this one, feel free to reach out to me at the Sim Squad. Thank you.